So now Tommy is taking off part of the sediment here so that we can get down to this little area down here which is covered with a knee pad has the rest of the bone that I found the other day. So Tommy is graciously clearing the way so that we can get to more of that area and see what we have. Now we had quite a bit of I think foot bone found here in this hole that Carl is digging out right now and so we have what we think is a rib bone here and a foot bone down there so we don't know what we're gonna get underneath all of this but it's exciting to wonder so yesterday when we were at the Edmontosaurus site at least what we think is an Edmontosaurus we found the, that the end of the neck, there was no head. At least we could not find a head. So sometimes you get down here and you find something good. And sometimes you get down here and you find not much. So we just have to go with the flow. Yeah, the joy of paleontology. So I don't want to be on the other end of that pickaxe when uh, <laughs> he slips. <laughs> Husband, I don't want you to be on the other end of that pickaxe when he slips either. I am not worried about slipping with this part. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't want you to go down that hill either, Tommy. I really, I really don't want you. I've gotten, you know. I want it more than you. You're, you're my friend now. I don't want you going down that hill. Monday, yeah, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Mm. We were talking today just about the family of Christ, the body of Christ, and how we all help each other. So, I got right now three wonderful guys working on my little project here. We're all helping each other out. Oh, that's so damp. Okay, so sure this is wood. Tommy and Carl and Brian cleared out the shelf that was above my bone. So you can see that we've covered the bone with a knee pad and a shovel, a little bitty hand tool. And so now I've got to come from above the bone here and I've got to remove all of this rubble and try to get down to that knee pad to uncover the bone. So this is where the fun time begins. So we've uncovered this much of the rib piece that goes with the other rib piece that I still have back at camp that I've already put together. So we still have not come to the end of this thing, so I'm still digging. Okay, so now I have found my other piece of bone, and it does look like it is a finished end. So I think it's complete, but there could very likely be more of it in there. Um, this does not look like a rib anymore. It's beginning to look like something else. So we will see if the mystery starts to resolve itself. So I told Tommy that I was going to take a picture of all the work that he had to do so that the next time I had to clean up my bedroom in my house, then I would be encouraged that he has oh so much more to do than I do. Tell me what you got up there, Tommy. Well, we've got a triceratops right here. We got ribs going all the way to the back here. Oh my goodness. And then down here. All of those are ribs got, that have to be put together. This is also part of the triceratops right here. We call this guy Big John. And we've got to open up all these plaster jackets. We're going to be working on this stuff for the next couple of years, I imagine. But we're okay. wanting to one day get it out. Oh my god. But it'll be a messy bedroom. Look back project. there. So back you got there. that from here? What is it? It's that a triceratops. Yes. But this is ours. We own this fully okay. now. Oh my goodness. Look now this that. is the big this is So this is maybe the carcass right bigger. here. This is the not the torso. Oh, uh, let's see here. So this one you own fully. Don't mess anything up, but I just wanted to know if this was the, because it's awful big, unless it's a... Yeah, I don't see what it's marked as. <laughs> Do you pull it out and take potluck? There's some vertebra back there. 
Ooh. Nice. This is an ilium uh, from a tractor right here. An ilium. This whole piece or? This, this long piece right here. This is an ilium from a triceratops. And that's, that's a bit of four and a half, five feet long. Wow. So what they do is try to take this thing out. So they've got to get down to the bone and some of this is a lot of sediment on top of the it, bone. Glue it, get the dirt off, yeah. get it out of the jacket. Get it ready for display. Take you a few minutes. Just a few minutes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that part right up there you think is a what? Oh, that's a separate one. That might not be a triceratops? It's not. Uh, I don't honestly remember and I don't see it written on there what I think it is. Wow. So see, oh, I know what it is. It's ribs. I think it came from where we were at yesterday. The Amontosaur sign. Uh -huh. I think see, this is some of the ribs. See here, you can see all of this is sediment, but down here is a little piece of bone, I believe. Right there. At least I've gotten a little bit be better figuring out what is sediment and what is bone. So this right here, this triceratops is Big John. And they have a lot, a lot, a lot of work to do on Big John. There are some projects that some of them are finished and some of them they are working on. Usually if they're still in the aluminum foil, they've been set aside to work on. Some of these look like they're pretty well cleaned up. That definitely has a bone shape there. And it looks like this is two parts of the same bone. Nice. Very nice. So here, you can see that if I didn't know what was in there, I would go, that's a pile of rubble. Because most of it is a pile of rubble. They have to take this thing out with all of the, now see this you can see is bone, not rubble. It's already got the shape of the bone all the way around. So who knows whether that's a, a pelvic bone or what, I'm terribly uneducated. But everywhere you see is bone, 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 bone. Okay, so they try to bring them out, label them. Okay, so there's a big bone of something. Not sure what it is, but things are in, oh, look at that mess. That's a mess that they've got to try to piece back together. You can see it's a big bone, but then sometimes bones crumble. Oh, look at that. What a jigsaw puzzle. There's some more. And I don't know what all of this is, but I think it was maybe a bigger bone that they've already pulled out to work on. And maybe these are just pieces they're going to have to fit in there later. But, yes, I told Tommy that I just wanted to video this. So on the days when I just feel like I have too much work to do, you see, this one you can tell has been stabilized, okay? I don't know what kind of bone this is, um, because of course you've got a lot of different dinosaurs and some of them have frills and who knows what all of this is. I think maybe this is a frill. I'm not sure. But all of this has to be pieced back together. And so what they do to preserve is they put them when they pulled them out of the field, they pulled them, put them in a plaster cast. They first put the aluminum foil all the way around the bone so that the plaster doesn't exactly touch the bone. And then they put the plaster over it to stabilize the bone. So any large bone they bring out of the field, they're going to put aluminum foil and then the plaster over everything. So these are some really large finds really great stuff and this is the kind of stuff that you would see in a museum because this is a museum it's just the back prep place and these right here are so yeah this is the basement of the museum actually um this is their lab where they prep and then these fossils are so big that they had to be pulled out with some heavy equipment 
they are encased in a rock and have to the rock has to be chiseled away but you can see this one right here this right here is bone okay so this is bone but the bone is encased in sandstone rock there's some more bone right here so this is a huge piece and this one over here is a huge piece and this right here also sad see all of this up here is actually bone that's been crumpled away so lots and lots of piece work that they have to do and they can actually glue them back together if they can find them and say they find so this is frill and so they have to label them so that says north of frill and so they think so, okay so we know what um, pieces we have where was it when we found it so this is our lab and this is our team and we've really gotten a lot of fun fellowship a bunch of believers in the Lord Jesus who believe in uh, the way God says he made his world in Genesis and it's been a pleasure on the camera so this is Tommy and he's going to discuss Hi. my prize piece here we were originally thinking it was a piece of rib, but as I got into it, it doesn't look like it's a piece of rib. We've got potentially a couple of tooth sockets, and I'm leaning a little bit towards a piece of jaw, which would be a mandible, a little jaw piece, but I'm not totally sure because we still got a, a lot of the back is gone, and we've got a lot of damage along the ridge right here. So that's kind of where we're at right now. It's one of those pieces that we're not going to be ultimately conclusive about because of the nature of the damage and all that's missing here with it. But that's a that's at least a thought right now. Righty. And then what would you say about this one that I'm holding right now? It just got glued. Well, that looks like a piece of rib. And part of that, what makes it different is we've got a nice tapered curve right here. It's uh, flatter on the back. And so we've got a perimeter shape that we can get a sense of what it looked like uh, where this one we're missing a lot of the perimeter shape we know something significant is missing overall so that's my thought and would you say Tommy that these are cow bones I would not say these are cow bones <laughs> what kind of bones are they Tommy? I would say these are dinosaur bones dinosaur bones yes, surprise <laughs> that's so exciting yes it is hey kids we got dinosaur bones and they could be one of three types which would be their well, the biggest dinosaurs we have here are T-Rex, Edmontosaur, and Triceratops. Then we have a handful of other smaller dinosaurs like the raptors. Uh, we have some ankylosaurs, stuff like that. So. so this is either a very small dinosaur or a baby dinosaur, right? A juvenile dinosaur? Probably somewhere in that range, that would be my thought. All right. Thank you so much. It has been a pleasure working with you. My pleasure, too. Bye.